I'm uh, drinking uh, tea the Gujarati way. Too sweet for me. Yeah. Gujarati tea. <laughs> <laughs> The sweetness of Gujarati people should not go into the tea, it should stay <laughs> in their hearts. I was called man mein rana rakna hai, tea mein chai mein nahi dalna hai. Mera, mera, you heard the song? Jo paale tu, usko bhule, kaise fitrat hai. Trying to steal my motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> but my job is different. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I would have thought of that too when I was young. <laughs> this is just a traditional way to welcome the guest. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Today is a little traveling too much. Ah, nice place. Sherpa is nice, but I would love to sit on the tire though. I've looked at some of the data, it's fantastic what's happened here. This needs to happen across the world, but everybody can't do the same thing. That's what we need to understand. In India, we think emulating somebody means we do the same thing. Same thing won't work everywhere. Everybody can't do dairy. We need to do different things in the same module. Same module. Same level of cooperation, but different things we have to do in different parts of the country, you know. This is a fantastic success for the people. Water crisis to kafi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the, sir, I must tell you, I want your farmers to come and visit some of the places where we have raised the organic content using cow dung, leaf and everything. Yeah. Mixture of cow dung, you have neem trees and there are other trees we can plant. Green leaf and animal waste <laughs> mixed together, if you enhance the organic content to eight to ten percent in the soil. Irrigation requirement will come down to thirty percent of what it is right now. I'm uh, drinking uh, tea the Gujarati way. Too sweet for me. Yeah. Gujarat tea. <laughs> <laughs> the sweetness of Gujarati people should not go into the tea. It should stay in their hearts. I was called man mein rana rakna hai, tea mein chai mein nahi dalna hai. What he's saying, sir, this is the most important thing. If your organic content is good, irrigation will come down to minimum, sir. If at all, if it is needed, micro-irrigation, I'm telling you, I've done this in my own lands. Once in twenty-five days, if you irrigate in summer, it's enough. Land will retain. Just like this with your finger, if you do one inch, one and a half inches, it'll be always damp. If the organic content is rich, we need to do that. We are talking about one billion bovine animals in the country and we are addressing this like it's a problem. <coughs> in the UP election, everybody is talking about uh, cows as a big problem. Uh, <coughs> Sixty percent of the country's population are farmers and cows are a problem, have we lost our minds, sir? What is it? No, you understood, but let him say it in uh, Gujarati yeah, or Hindi, yeah. please. Guys, it's not a problem. Guys, it's an asset, an asset. I'm a stand chain. काऊ ढंगना आधार ऊपर तो आखी धरती ने फरी पासी जीवन जीवन करी शकाई छे पहला पन वर्षों सुधी गाय अपने त्यां रई गाय चाली ऐना कारणे करीने धरती जीवन बनी अने काऊ ढंग जो धरती माथी खत्म थे वो ले धरती खत्म थोवा मरे जमीन खत्म थोवा मरे ऐना कारणे पानी नहीं क्राइसिस सुधी थे कि प्रोडक्टिविटी घटी गई Soil upar no vision chai. Thank you, sir. Please tell this to everybody, sir. We're killing the nation. We're literally killing the nation by killing the soil. This must get across to everybody. Before it's too late, in another fifteen years, sir, we won't have cows in this country except milking cows. They're not enough. We have one, nearly one billion animals. They must stay. Only then this land can revive. Right now, they are talking about some eight hundred and thirty million cows or something in the country. These cows you may feed and keep it because they're giving milk. That's not the important thing. Milk is good for you, I ex appreciate this is a milk uh, district. 
Sir, the cow dung is more valuable than the milk because it has to go into the soil to keep the soil alive. I'm saying, right now, once we have spoken during the election time when we have addressed cows as a serious problem on the highways, in another twelve to fifteen years' time, this population is going to come down to twenty-five percent of what it is. I'm sir, this is the murder of the nation. Uh, I know I'm using harsh words, sir, please, but please listen to me. If you listen today, we can correct this. If you listen after fifteen years, we cannot correct this. Because you cannot bring back one billion animals once again, breed and bring them back. You think if you're not willing to take care of them, you think you'll breed and produce them, you will never do that. This is uh, from Krishna Bhagwan's time, cows have been everywhere. Because of that, we are enjoying it. Even though we have not taken care, just because the cows walking the land, land has been rich. But if we kill these animals, we may not slender, sell, send them to the slaughterhouse, but they'll anyway die in the next fifteen years if nobody takes care of them. Once this is gone, sir, you cannot revive this soil, you cannot revive this country. With 1.3 billion people, if the soil becomes like this, Right now it is 0.68 percent, 0.68 percent is our average. Sixty-two percent of the land is below five percent, zero point five percent. This is death, sir. Land is speaking death, but we are not listening. I am saying every farmer should be given money to take care of stray cows and use the dung. Give him the feed, what would it cost, sir, for one cow? Forty, fifty thousand. No, sir, not the money to buy. Uh, so just to give bare minimum oh, food, sir. It bare will not minimum. Mean nothing. Nothing. Yes. Nothing. Five hundred rupees, sir. Ah, only, only. Thousand rupees maximum. Not sir. more than that. So five hundred rupees per cow. You give it to the farmer. Ask him to take care of per acre two cows. If he's got ten acres, let him take care of twenty cows. Give him that subsidy. I'm telling you, the country will thrive. <laughs> and right now. I know UAE, I've been… Uh, we've signed MOUs with UAE, they're looking for India for food security. When we can make food for entire Arabia, we're right close by. Traditionally, we've been doing this in many ways. This is our opportunity. They are desert lands, they want food, they want food security. They want to move in this direction, but they will definitely come and examine our lands and see there is no organic content here. And we have nearly 830 billion animals. We must protect them and give subsidies for farmers to take care of it. If we don't do this, it'll be too late. In ten years, half the population will go. Yes, sir? Right, 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 sir. We are only thinking of immediate. If I feed, I feed this cow today, how many liters of milk? That is one aspect of economy. There's a longer term also, right? You also have to think of your children's economy. For that, dung is more important than the cow's than milk. The milk. Milk se jada cow dung or uh, urine ka bhi. Yes, together. Urine also. Animal Achha. waste. Uh -huh. Animal waste and… So this is something everybody must understand. Plant life and animal life are the only way to enrich this soil. This soil you cannot enrich with anything in the universe. You cannot bring material from Mars or space and enrich this. Only plant life and animal life can enrich this soil. If these two things go away, there is nothing left. I know I'm sp talking with a certain speed because I see time is running out. If we don't act now, it'll be late. See, we are… our economies, our practices, we are trying to imp… Yeah, uh, imitate imperial nations. What imperial nations mean? Wherever there is wealth, where they, wherever there is food, sh through sheer power they will take it. We are not capable of that. It's not my nature to take your food and eat it up. These are imperial nations which will take food and wealth <laughs> from wherever it is. We will not do that, it's not in our heart to do that, nor do we have the power to do that. We must keep our land rich, this is very important. Every scientist in the world is pointing out, <coughs> in twenty-five to forty years, we are heading towards a serious food crisis. Let's not go there. We have sixty percent of the land, uh, population as farmers. We've done some kind of a survey, not even two percent want their children to become farmers. Everybody want them to go to the cities. Why? 
because unless a farmer earns as much as a doctor, engineer, lawyer, whatever else which drives them to cities, why will anybody stay on the land next generation? In another thirty years, who will farm, I'm asking? You should, sir, you have the home. <laughs> it's very important, sir, this is not just another thing. Not even two percent want their children to be in farming. Only those who fail every exam, can't go anywhere, helplessly they may go into farming. Not by choice. Why? Because it's not only back-breaking, it's heart-breaking. Back will break, it's okay. Heart should not break, isn't it? You heard the song? I sang this song, Hindi song. Yeah. Acha. Oh. <laughs> this is the only Hindi song I ever sang. <laughs> Tera mera kya hai bandeya, e sab kudrat hai. Yes! Jo paale tu, usko poole, kaise fitrat hai. Paon ke niche, e jo na ho, Pao fisal jayega Aaj abhi se Taan le bande ya Kal na fir aayega Kal na fir aayega La la le 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 La la le 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 Come on, let's make it happen!